Hi guys, welcome to Daddy and Adon. Today we're going to be looking at our final finishing positions for the upcoming Premier League season. So to kick us off, we're going to have the Don with his 20th pick. Yes, hi Phil. Um, so I'll start with my um, my prediction. I'll start with my number 20. Uh, I think 20th place is going to be Burnley. Uh, I think they're in huge trouble. Um, unless they get some players in, they are going to finish rock bottom. They're going to be very similar to Sheffield United. They struggled last year. They've not really improved. I don't know how Sean Dyche thinks this team's going to get any better. It's very limited. It's it's not got much depth, not got much quality. Uh, it's old. They're in trouble. Um, and I really wouldn't be surprised if they were under 20 points this year. I think Burnley's time is to come and uh, they're going down. Yeah, I can see why you've put them there. I don't think they're going to have a great season either. But for 20th position, I've actually gone for Watford. I think they struggled the last time they came up. They're sort of one of those teams that do okay in the championship nothing to worry about but there's that lack of quality when it comes to the prem i think they're going to have another yo-yo season yeah so your 20th is my 19th watford uh I, I i don't disagree with a lot of people putting them 20th i think they will just be better than burnley but will not be much better they're they're not very good uh they overachieved last year unfortunately this manager is not going to be in the job long they'll probably have three managers by the end of the year they'll go down quite early the there's not balance in the team, there's not much quality and there's players coming in that no one's ever heard of who, to me, they're punts and the punt's not going to pay off. They'll, they'll go down, they'll go down quite easily. Yeah, I sort of thought that would be your next pick and it'd be no surprise to you that my 19th pick is Burnley. So we've just sort of gone the other way around there. But yeah, again, I don't think they've strengthened. They're an old team. Sean Dyke has done wonders with them, but how many more times can he keep getting them out of trouble? I think... It's going to be one too many for them this season. Everyone jumping on the Burnley bandwagon. Thanks, guys. And listen, Burnley are going down, and at least you, you acknowledge that. Anyway, moving on to the 18th. Uh, to me, it's Norwich. Uh, they do it every year, up, down, up, down. Funny enough, it's probably their strongest-looking team for a Premier League season. Still not going to be strong enough. Lost the best player. Play, brought in two players who could be decent, but there's no... There's no guarantee they will. Billy Gilmore's good, but he's a defensive midfielder. I don't see what he's going to bring that will keep him up even though he's good unfortunately I think um, it's just not going to be good enough I think they will actually get relegated on the final day and I think they'll actually be out of the relegation zone most of the season it'll just be a case of being around there and losing games at vital times and I think they'll just miss out and staying up and they will just go down uh, Norwich for 18th for me I actually think they'll stay up G but again it wouldn't be the biggest shock if they did go down so not too many arguments from my side this might upset you a bit, though. My 18th pick, I know all your in-laws support them, but I've gone for Brentford. I don't want them to go down. I hope they do well. Uh, local team to sort of where we live. But I think most playoff teams that come up, I think about 60 65% of them go straight back down just because of that struggle. And I sort of for that reason, I've put them for the 18th. But again, if, they, if they're brave and they play their football and they don't bottle it and go sort of negative like a lot of teams do when they're losing they stick to their football, they might be okay. And I hope they're okay. But I'm putting them 18th on this occasion. All right. That's a strange one. Brentford ain't going down, Phil. That's a silly one. I promise you that. Garen, absolutely tear. it. Um, strange. Anyway, moving on. 17th, Southampton. They will be the team that will be in the relegation zone majority of the season. Uh, Hasselhoff to be sat by Christmas. This is if they don't improve the squad. Their squad is very weak, in my opinion. They need a winger, another midfielder, another centre-back, a full-back, a striker, maybe another striker. They need a lot of players, and they basically just lost their best player. Um, they're in trouble, but I think they'll get some signings in the, in the um, January window, whoever comes in, and they'll keep them up on the last day in front of Norwich. Um, Southampton will finish 17th. So I've got them slightly higher, but yeah, um, no, no arguments there. I think they're going to struggle compared to our past seasons but yeah my 17th pick I've actually gone for Norwich so not too dissimilar to you but I think they'll they'll just do enough to stay up this year like I've said they went down kept their team together gave the manager a chance to recoup which he did they came up with no issues so they've had a practice run now it's their second chance hopefully they'll make the most of it which I think they will yeah the concept of Norwich being 17th I get that you know I wouldn't be surprised if they did be there. I think they're either going down or finishing 17th, but I'd, I'd, like I said earlier on, I think they'll, they'll go down just on the last day. Anyway, moving on to my 16th, um, Brighton, um, just specialists of just, just being average and just doing enough on the season. I think one day the, 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 the time will come, but I don't think it's this year. I think they've got a bit more quality than the 
four teams below them. Uh, again, I think they'll just be around 13th, 14th. I think they'll probably just have a poor end, but will be OK. Like maybe be 12th and then lose their last few games and, and end up 16 like some teams do. Yeah, not amazing, but not that bad. But going forward, unless they get some quality and they, they could be in trouble the following season. But they will finish 16th this year. And there it is, the first one we actually agree on, G. Yep, I can't disagree with anything you said there. They are just very good at being average, aren't they? Nothing else, nothing less. Expect it to continue this season. That's enough on Brighton. You're 16th, let's move on. Look at that, we agree. Uh, great minds think alike. Anyway, to my 15th, it's Wolves. Um, I do think it's like Brighton, unless they strengthen next year, I think they're in trouble. But for this year, I think they have enough quality to stay up, but they're not setting the world alight. Um, I am not know much about the manager, no, though I know who he is. Let's see what sort of football he plays and, and then I'll make my mind up. But for this season, I think they've got enough quality. Obviously, if they lose Cody and, and Nevis, then they're in massive trouble. Uh, but they probably will replace him. It's just who they're going to bring in. They have some decent players, Prudence and Neto and Traore. They need to have better years this year because, again, they could be all right. But long term, just a slightly worried. But this year, they'll be all right. 15th, boring season. Yeah, I actually think they're going to be OK. But I do get where you're coming from on that one. I think they're do it a little bit better but again could be like what you said i've gone for southampton like before i think they're going to do slightly better than what you said but i wouldn't be surprised if what you said happened and they do creep a little bit further down to the relegation because they have slipped a little bit they've lost danny ings and they've got a small squad as it is if james ward Prowse goes then they are in big trouble if he stays i think 15th will be a real possibility for them hey fair enough southampton better than what i thought i wouldn't say that's Ridiculous to say that, that possibly could be where they end up, but I'm just thinking maybe a bit worse. But yeah, I understand that concept. Anyway, to my 14th, uh, Newcastle United. I actually think they've got a decent team. Uh, they've got some good wingers um, and they've got a good striker. Uh, maybe need another centre back and maybe another centre mid, uh, but they have enough to be better than a few teams in front of them. Um, they're okay, not Newcastle. Um, but it's like, it's like Brighton and Wolves, you know. Look at Burnley, having strengthened for two years, now they're weak. Newcastle have enough this year, but going forward, they need to move on and get some players. I do think they still need a few players to be entirely safe, but I'd be very shocked if they're anywhere in the bottom. Though they might have a little scare, I think they'll have enough in the end to finish 14th. Newcastle 14th. All right, someone call a doctor because we've actually agreed again. Um, can't disagree with anything you said there, G. I think they're going to come 14th. I think a lot will depend on uh, Joe Willock signing, which I think he will. If he doesn't and they don't strengthen, they could slip down. But I don't think they go any higher. Um, but I think they'll be okay. Full team for Newcastle. That's two out of two there. Me, me and you agree again. I just think that's where they'll finish. I, I don't think they'll be near the top half. As well. I don't think they'll be in the relegation zone. Again, a little scare, but I think we're thinking alike there. 13th, this is where Brentford will finish. I think they're, 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 I don't think they'll be anywhere near the relegation. I think they'll be in the top half for a bit of the season. Fade in the middle get a bit of form, being consistent, might flirt occasionally, but I think they'll be all right. I think they'll get wins when matter. I, I just think they've got no fear. Listen, if Brentford go down, they go down. At the end of the day, these fans have waited 50, 50, 50, sorry, 70 years for this. And some of them said that if it's one year, it's one year. We just want to experience it. I think they'll be all right. I'm not saying they'll last long, long, long. We'll see. But they've brought players in. They have money. They've got, they've got determination, team spirit. Good football. I think they'll be all right this year. They're, they're upset a few teams at home and they'll do some teams away. They'll finish 13th, Brentford. Yeah, I think you've been a little bit optimistic there, G. I like it. I hope it happens. But again, you all know my thoughts on that one. Um, with this pick, I've gone for Wolves. Again, I think they're going to finish slightly higher than you had them. But again, like you've said, it's a bit if they keep Neves and they don't lose too many players. If they lose their players, they could slide right down there. I'm basing it on them keeping the players and then I think they'll be 13th. Manager's unproven in, at this level, so we'll have to see how that goes. But for now, off the bat, 13th. Yeah, so me and you, with, with you putting Wolves 13, we've, we've actually done the same eight teams in the, in the bottom eight positions. So you can see where the, the weaker teams are. Um, yeah, again, I'm not, I can understand Wolves 13, but again, I wouldn't expect any of these teams to be past the top 12. Um, I think they are where they should be. Anyway, moving on to 12th. Uh, West Ham, uh, I just think the Europa League will hamper them. I do think their first team is strong enough to get them 
nowhere near relegation, but it'd just be a boring mid-table season for them. They might get a run in the cup. They might try the League Cup. Again, it's just lack of backup. I do like their first team. I think Fornas, uh, Bowen's underrated. Bumrama's got quality. They do need a striker. And if they get a striker, maybe another centre mid and maybe another centre back, then they might be forward and be up further up because they'll have that depth to club in both leagues. But for now, I think they'll just have a boring season, maybe with a little cut run. 12th for West Ham. Yeah, I can't see them having the season they had last year. I don't think they slide quite as far as you've got them sliding down, G, but I'm going to go for my team, Crystal Palace, for 12th place. Probably a little bit optimistic, but I have to see how Vieira gets on. I think he's freshened the team up, a couple of attacking options. So with a hope, 12th. Could all go wrong, could get relegated, but hopefully 12th. Look at that. Daddy puts him 12th. Well, I put your team 11th. I like the signings. Sent him mid away from having a great season. But I still think you're good enough to be where you are. But with that said, Patrick might be the concern. So, good signings. Unsure about the manager. But I'm going to go and lean with the good signings and think you'll be all right. Though, if you're 18th, 19th during the season, I, I wouldn't be shocked. Even though I'm putting you 11th, it just depends on the tactics. But there's positive signings, good young players from the championship. Anderson's a great centre back. The Chelsea boys are good centre back. Like I said, one centimetre away, and if I was a Palace fan and the signing of Armstrong, I'd be very happy this summer. Bit of activity, he's back he's been backed. Let's see if he can uh, can answer answer the critics that he got from his last job. I think you'll be alright this year. I think you'll have a good solid season. I think you might have a little cup run. Eleventh place, you could even sneak the top ten. Wow, I was wondering when you were going to get to Palace. I'm surprised it wasn't in the bottom four like you normally have them. So thanks for that, G. I've actually gone for West Ham, so not too dissimilar to you. Don't think they're going to repeat what they did last year. I think they're going to struggle a bit. And yeah, that's it, West Ham. You're coming 11th. Yeah, West Ham. Fair enough. We're thinking alike, really. Uh, 10th place, Everton. Uh, I just think the signings they've made so far worry me. I don't think Benitez is an upgrade. He's a downgrade on Ancelotti. Um, it's all depending on what other players they can sign because they have money. Uh, they've got quality. I think Rasharlison and Calvin Lewin are their best players. But apart from that, the attacking options look quite shit without Rodriguez. Um, centre back wise, good, but it's just there's not there's the signings really sour of Everton, and a lot of people I'm not going to fancy them because they're not exciting. Um, but we'll see. Listen, if they finish 7th or 8th, I wouldn't be surprised. I just think they might finish above, below a few teams. And I think it's going to be an average season. He won't lose his job. But, yeah, listen, if he gets three or four players in now between the end of the transfer window, then it could change. But right now, I've got to be on what I've seen. It's it's tempt for me, for Everton. Yeah, I've been expecting a few similarities now as we get into the top 10. And I've joined you with Everton on there, number 10. Grew with much of what you said there, G. I think it is a downgrade at manager. And I don't think an ex-Liverpool manager going to Everton could be a recipe for disaster. The fans will be on his back if the results aren't going well. And yeah, I don't think they've done enough in the transfer market. I think they're weaker than last season and it's going to reflect that in the league 10th position for me. Well, that's three out of three, Phil. Thinking alike. Do you know what? I think we might have the same one here at ninth. Leeds. Regardless if they bring anyone in, I think they've got enough strength. Again, very weak backup, but very good first team. And if you add a few players in, they could be further. I just think the manager makes a difference. They've got three class players. I think Jack Harrison, Rafinho and Phillips are quality. The centre-back's all solid. And I might not be his biggest fan, but Bamford seems to do well for that team. So, Leeds, signings could be better, but I think they'll be all right regardless. I think Leeds will get ninth. And I've got a sneaky feeling you might have the same as me, Phil. But me, for me, Leeds are a hard team to beat. They've got spirit. Class manager, he makes a difference. They're ninth. Uh, yes, you are right, G. I've gone for him at number nine as well. Love this team. Love the manager. Like watching them play. Very exciting. Like to put them higher, but when you look at the eight teams that are above, it's hard to find a place up there. Um, I think they could go better, but it would need other teams to flop around them. I think ninth is a fair reflection for Leeds. Look at that. Four for four. <laughs> Yeah, going on to number eight, uh, I'm going to say Leicester. I just think the Europa League might have its toll on them. Good squad. Vardy's passed it. Don't be surprised if he doesn't play as much now. They've brought that new guy, I think it's Daka or Saka, Daka, and Indianacho is really starting to show form. Uh, if they keep Madison, they'll, they'll do okay. But regardless of what players they've got in, I just think they might just get 
might, I think they'll concentrate in the Europa League and they might even win it. So I think they might just dip from the last previous years, finish eighth. But again, if they finish sixth, I'm not going to be shocked. It's only two places different. I'm just going to put my neck out and say they finish eighth this year. Leicester will be eighth. Yeah, I can see your point. I don't think they're going to be as strong as they were this year. But with that said, I've put Aston Villa at eighth. Again, they could go higher. They've done a good bit of business despite losing Grealish. But I think eighth place, got to see how these new signings bed in. Could be higher, but I'm sticking with eighth. No, for me, this team are going to finish higher than what you've put. And they're going to finish seventh. But with that said... They have an absolutely massive opportunity to be last year's West Ham. They could generally finish fifth. I love this team. I think Dean Smith's done a phenomenal job. It's Aston Villa, of course. Lost Jack Grealish, but you've replaced them with Ings, Riendo and Gray. They're going to they're gonna have a fantastic lineup. They have backups all over the place. They've brought in Tom Zabie as another centre-back. They're strong everywhere. It's a really good team. And they're going to cause problems. And again, I generally believe they could be in the Europa League this year. I'm going to put them seventh because I think maybe they might a bit of an experience. They might shit their pants under the pressure. But again, it's going to be a good year for uh, Aston Villa. Really, really strives to, to become a big club again. And they're, they're a team to look out for. Aston Villa seventh. All right, G, calm down, son. I've only put them one place below you. It's not like I put them 15th. Right, moving on. Number seven. No surprise here. I've put Leicester. So I've just switched with you, seven and eight. But... A bit like what you said, I think Europe could be a distraction for them. The body, like you said, is a bit old, declining, loss for Fana, so it's going to be a struggle for them. Um, like this team, but again, I don't see them getting into that top six. Seventh place for me. That's fair enough. Moving on to six, um, I think it's going to be Arsenal. Uh, I know we had a conversation recently and I did say I think Arsenal might finish fifth. But I think Tottenham have made some decent signings and I still think Arsenal are short of catching them. And I do think both teams are not anywhere near the top four. I think they're too strong. Will be better than last year. Not too much better. Uh, still frustrating. But again, let's see who we get in. But as of now, I can't see us getting anywhere near, probably even anywhere near Tottenham. I think we'll be six and we'll just about be there. I think we'll be a struggle to keep that position. Aston Villa will be up our ass. Obviously, some fans will probably think we're finished above Tottenham. I just don't think so. Kane not being there, maybe. But right now, we're six. I was certain you were putting them fifth. I've put your boys there as well, sixth. So that's a match for us. I think last year was a disaster. Eighth place, it's not going to happen again. But having said that, I don't think you're going to recover straight away. It's going to take a bit of time. Got to see what happens with Arteta as well. So sixth place, I think that's a fair result for you. Five out of five, look at us. Bet this is going to be six out of six. Fifth place is Tottenham. Uh, they're not anywhere near the top four, but they're better than Arsenal as of now. I have to admit that as an Arsenal fan. Uh, even without Kane, they're going to get a lot of money if he leaves, so they're going to buy players. So this is Tottenham uh, not in a bad position. They've got a good manager. I think he's going to do well for them. Uh, they might need a centre mid. They've improved their defence. Wingers are quite strong with that new boy, the Dutch boy and Son. So they're not far off. and I think they're, they're, they won't be near top four, but they'll they're comfortably be fifth as of now. Um, not much more to say about that. Um, not a bad season, but obviously I know Tottenham fans want one Champions League. I just don't think that's realistic with how the other four are all strengthened. But I think they'll take finishing above us. Yeah, no surprise here. I've agreed with you. Tottenham are coming fifth. Not too much to argue between you and Tottenham, really. I think it'll only be a point or two. But I think Nuno's the better manager, so this is why I'm putting them in fifth. OK, that six out of six. And, um, yeah, can't argue with that, mate. I've said the same. Anyway, moving on to the top four. This is this is where it gets difficult because it could generally change. I generally... I, I, it can change because all teams are strengthened, but it's like a domino effect. Who strengthens the best? And right now I'm basing it on, I think, they all, they're all like one or two players away. And because no one's complete, City will be in the best position. So, fourth place, Man United. They have strengthened with a fantastic centre-back and a fantastic winger. But they're still short and need a forward who, who is a forward, a striker. Not wingers who can play there. They need a solid striker, young age, to, to compete and replace Cavani. They need a defensive midfielder of quality. Not Fred, not Mott Tomery, not Matic, to play with Pogba. They need a right-back who can attack. If they played a lot, maybe. ram he's not attacking enough. Man United are not far away. But they've not strengthened enough to get past the other three. If they get a world-class striker and a world-class midfielder, then possibly. 
going to be a better season, even though they're finished in fourth, because the other three teams are going to be on top gear this year. Just think they're short, but Man United are in the right direction if they keep buying players. They're fourth. Yeah, you're going to have to agree with you on this one, G. I've got Man United in fourth as well. I think last season they punched above their weight for that second place. I think Chelsea are going to be a lot better with two short for the, first, for the whole season. And I think Liverpool are going to recover. So fourth place for Man United. Third place is Chelsea. Uh, this can change. This is, as of now, without a centre-back signing and without a, a quality right-back, in my opinion, they, they're just going to fall short. Defensively, I'm not the biggest fan of the defence. not saying it's bad, but they're definitely a better attacking team, in my opinion. Two calls done wonders there, and I think they'll get better. Chelsea can win the league. I'm not saying they won't, but I, it's just tight. To me, Liverpool are going to come back as strong as ever. Chelsea will be up there. Will they fall short? Possibly. Um, we'll see. It's going to be tight. Um, but yeah, Chelsea will be third. Good season. I think they'll win a cup. I think they'll, I think they'll stick with Tuchel. I think they've got opportunity to be even better next year. This year, can win the league. Won't be surprised. But if I have to put my head, go with my head, they won't win the league. They'll finish third as of now, even with Lukaku, third. Because I think both the other two are still going to strengthen. Yeah, I can see your thinking behind that, G, but I've actually gone for Liverpool for my third place. I think they're slightly weaker, lost Wijnaldum, haven't overly strengthened. They have players back from injury, which is obviously a help from last season, but I don't think that's going to be enough to get them into that top two. So I'm putting them as third for this season. All right, Liverpool, to me, they've got their three centre-backs, they've got a new centre-back uh, it, it come from Leipzig and I think they're going to strengthen in that midfield area they don't need to strengthen the front three they're quality um, he likes them I think the team are all going to be back together the fans are back to me it makes sense that Liverpool are going to be a force again they finished the season incredibly strong I think they'll start the season incredibly strong and right now as of now they're, they're, the, the, they're the biggest threat to City if they get that centre mid in and City don't strengthen Liverpool for me are favourites but as of now I think they're going to challenge I think they can and they definitely might win it, but I'm going to go with my head again. And right now, if Kane especially goes, if Kane goes to City as well, Liverpool are going to finish second in an almighty title race with City and Chelsea. Liverpool second for me, but it's going to be a good year. And I really think they might win something as well this year. So, yeah, no real surprise. We've just um, gone opposite on second and third. Don't think there's going to be a great deal in it, but I've gone for Chelsea. Really impressed with what they did last season after Thomas Tuchel took over. I really liked watching the difference from that to the Frank Lampard Chelsea. And I can't wait to see what a full season looks like under Thomas. So I've got them second. They could push Man City, but I think second is a good achievement for them this year. Obviously, you've put Chelsea second and Liverpool third. Um, yes, fair enough. Again, it's tight between the three, so I can't argue with that. Um, I could have easier put City third. Um, but... I think they're strong. Are they a striker short? Yes. Are they going to say Kane, sign Kane? Yes. For that reason, they win the league. The centre backs are amazing. They, they've their only position they're weak in is left back, and they're not poor at that position. They're just weaker than all the other positions. They've got two world class right backs. They got they got three world class centre backs. They got world class midfielders. The world class wingers, and they've got Torres and Ezu who are quality. If Kane comes, even harder. Right now, like I said, if Chelsea get Lukaku in the centre-back and Liverpool Man City don't strengthen, then it could be Chelsea. If Liverpool will get that centre midfield of quality like uh, Sowell, Nikes, then they're going to do it. But I think City are going to get Kane and I think they're going to be the team to beat. Grealish adds it and they're going to be hard to beat. So team to beat, right now, City will retain the title. But I don't think they'll win much more than that. I think uh, Liverpool and Chelsea are going to win a trophy each. With one, of, I think with Liverpool winning Champions League, I think Chelsea are going to win the FA Cup, and I think the League Cup's going to go to Aston Villa. That's my predictions. Hope you all liked it and, and agree with me, because you know I know my football. So yeah, I've got to agree with you, Man City. I've got them down. They're the favourites. They're the best team on paper, but I do think they need a striker. They've got Grealish in, so that, like you said, those three in midfield, that's fantastic. But I do think they're lacking a striker, and they need to get a decent one in. If they do that, they're going to win this league hands down. As we've said, transfer window up till 1st of September could change the top four dramatically. But as it stands, I'm going for Manchester City to retain the title. 
So guys, there was our 1-20 to prediction for the Premier League for this upcoming season. Let us know what you think, if you agree or disagree, and just give us your opinions. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next edition. Bye.